hello guys in this video we are going to learn how you can add a shop or e-commerce to your wordpress blog before we get started i would like to share some few information with you one if you are new to this channel please subscribe and enable the notification bell smash the like button give me the thumbs up it means a whole lot to me if you have any questions or suggestions please leave them in the comment box below i have prepared some resources for any wordpress beginner out there check the resources in the description box below and finally know that our website wp tools guide that we've been using for our various tutorials on this channel is hosted on bluehost i highly recommend you grab bluehost bluehost is the most recommended hosting platform for all wordpress users that is what i recommend and that is what i use for this blog i use it i've tested it and i highly recommend it click on the link below this video check out the packages bluehost has for you and grab your hosting package from bluehost now let's get started into today's video we have our site here so let's check it out and this site is purely for demo purposes but it's live as you can see there's nothing here so i am going to create a sample blog with this and once i am done we will learn how to add e-commerce or a shop to our blog or to our wordpress site we are using newspaper i also have the link of newspaper below check it out in the description box so i'll head over to the pre-built website inside our pre-built website um let's select any i'll go with this one the default one so i'll just click on install right here i don't have this one installed currently let me go and install tag dev cloud library then we'll come back and install one of these pre-built sites one thing you should know is if you have an existing wordpress block you don't need to go through all these settings or this first part that i am doing i'm only doing this because i want to have a, um, a site built then we will add a shop into it but i guess as you are watching this video you already have an existing wordpress site you just want to add a shop to it if that is the case you can skip this part and get to the part where you get to add a shop to your wordpress site so i have my tag dev cloud library installed and activated so let's go back to pre-built websites and let's install this one Let's wait for the installation to complete. Our demo has finished installing successfully. So let's check our, our site. Let's see the new look. Yes. So as you can see now we have content here we've installed 
a demo look here. Okay, now the next step is to add the shop to our site. So this is the second step. I believe you already have an existing site. So we are pretending this is your existing site and we want to add a shop to it. So we will add a shop to this menu here and somebody can make an order on your site. The first step to do is to come to your plugin section and click add new. We are going to install WooCommerce. WooCommerce is the most recommended plugin for WordPress. If you want to have e-commerce ability on your WordPress site, the plugin is WooCommerce as you can see from here install woocommerce um sorry for that there's a plugin i'm talking about let's install it and let's get started let's add a shop to our wordpress site so i'll click on activate here okay so now we have woocommerce installed successfully and we are going to go through the onboarding wizard. So add your address. I'm in Ghana right now. So I'm going to fill in my shop address. Okay. I'm setting up a store for a client. If that's what you are doing, you can take this. But we believe we are setting up for ourselves so let's click on continue you can either select no tanks or yes count me in this is just a demo site so there's no need i'll click on no thanks and let's continue mm -hmm. to the next step depending on the niche of your shop or of your blog you can select any category here um, I'm going to use a weight loss supplement in this demo. So I will take health and beauty here and click on continue. You are supposed to enter or select the right category of your shop or of your blog. Okay. It's a weight loss supplement. So it's a physical product, but depending on yours, you can also take some of these. Let's leave it as such and hit continue. Okay, tell us about your business. How many products do you want to display? I'll select one to 10. Currently selling elsewhere i'll select no continue let's untick this for now as a beginner we will use our current theme because newspaper supports woocommerce so let's continue with our current theme here but you can select any other shopping theme that you want. So we are done with the onboarding process and we are back inside our WooCommerce dashboard here in our WordPress admin dashboard. The next step is to add a payment gateway. We want to be able to receive payments. So that will be the next step that we want to do. After adding our payment, we will set up our shipping and our tax and all that. Then we will add our first product and see how it looks like. So let's set up our 
payment here by default pay um woocommerce that is in wordpress comes with paper payment pay stack i'm in africa so i'll be using pay stack most of you will be using paper payments there's also cash on delivery and there's also bank transfer you can just click on enable to enable a specific payment method so let's go back to payments once again let's go to paypal payments and let me show you a quick setup that you need to do so is it, we are installing our paypal plugin once i click on connect account connect your paypal account a paypal account is required to process payments we can also be able to accept paypal payments on our site so let's just enable and let's connect our shop to our paypal account so that we can receive paypal payments so i have successfully connected my paypal account to my woocommerce site here or to our shop site so we can now start receiving payments on our wordpress site once this is done let's go back home let's go to the settings and do one or two changes then we add our first product so I have my address here. The question you should ask yourself is, are you selling to all countries or specific countries? For now, we are selling to all countries, but you have the chance to select. You can go to all countries except. So for example, I want to sell to all countries except Togo. And I can enter Togo here. Or I want to sell to specific countries so i want to sell only to the united states and united kingdom depending on your target audience where you are expecting sellers or buyers from just enter the countries here where do you ship to most often you should ship to the countries you sell to let's go back let me make it sell to all countries then we ship to all countries enable tax for now or on leave it on tick i also on tick this one select your currency go through and do the necessary settings we also have shipping here hold on let's save these changes Now that we've saved our changes, let's go to shipping. Let's, let's add a shipping zone and all that. We can name it um or um free shipping. Or worldwide shipping I 
we are supposed to select um regions within this zone we sell to africa we also sell to united states we also sell to europe we sell to asia let me search for america we sell to north america then south america let's add australia okay let's add a shipping method yes it's a it's a free shipping so add shipping method here and let okay our settings have already been saved so it's okay let's go through this shipping options here you can enable or disable some of these options but let's leave them as it is right here and let's hit save changes Let's make sure our payment settings and everything is working correctly. Let's enable PayPal here. Now we have cash on delivery and we also have PayPal payments. Just enable or disable all those that you want. Okay. I think the first process didn't work. So let's connect to PayPal once again. Let me log into my PayPal account once again. Let's try reconnecting our PayPal account to WooCommerce. Agree and connect. We hope it works now. Go back to WooCommerce. okay so now we've successfully connected our site to paper so the next step is to add our first product that we want to sell so you can hover here and click on products or you come to products here and click add new and we are going to add our first product that we want to sell follow these simple steps and enable e-commerce on your wordpress blog so like i said we are going to try a life um supplement it's a weight loss supplement it's not mine though we are just using it for demo purposes so um you enter the name of the product select the product category Add your product tax. Select your product image. So I'm going to use these images that I have here. These are the images I have here that I'm going to use for our product images. I'll select this as the featured image for the product image right here. We also have the product short description. Okay, so this is just a um, demo. So try a life 
supplement to lose weight just write uh, i'm a short description about your product here for the product gallery let me select all three images we added and let's select um the price so for example hundred dollars but we are currently selling it for 69 dollars here there's nothing to change here and that is it let's publish our first product and check it out so i'll hit publish here to publish our first product on our wordpress blog okay we've successfully added our first product let's view this product okay so we have our first product here but we don't have our shop page here so let's add our shop page to our header menu i'll go back to our dashboard go to appearance go to menus so this is our main menu so we have our shop page right here let's select it and add it to menu it's added here and let's save Okay, let's refresh this page and check it out. No, let's select the right menu here. We have the main menu which has been selected. let's see let's refresh the page and now we have our shop page here so now let's continue i'll just copy um this url open it in incognito and let's see how it will look like when someone else is browsing our our site our shop so this is how it looks like i'm not logged in we have the shop link here and as you can see we have an existing blog let me just click on home so in your case you have an existing blog and we are learning how to add a shop or e-commerce to it you just click on this shop link here you see the products that you've entered let's open so this is our life this these are the product um, gallery images that we selected so let's add to cart Product has been added to cut successfully. Let's view cut. And we want to buy three bottles of our life. So we can also update the cut here. It has already selected my address by default, but um, let's change it. We want to ship it to Germany. Let's update it. And the total price is 207 because the shipping is for free now let's go to proceed to check out so you you get to enter your first name your last name and all the details that you need to enter and once everything is okay you proceed to place order
looks like paypal is still not enabled here so let's go back into my dashboard and enable paypal because we only have cash on delivery here so um let's come back here and enable paypal let's take enable the payment the paypal gateway and hit save changes you might not be using paypal maybe you want to use stripe come to add new plugins search for stripe and install this plugin and configure it do you want me to do a full sentence on how to configure stripe on your site leave them in the comment box below for those in africa you can also search for paystack to use the paystack woocommerce plugin we also have flutter wave flutter wave So you can also install this plugin or this one, but I prefer this one because it's from the main developers. Install it to enable Flutter Wave on your shop. You can also enable Razer Pay. That is, if you are in India, there are many, there are many payment gateways supported by WooCommerce. Just search for your payment gateway here. Install it and go through the configuration but for now we are going to use paypal let's go back to our checkout page and find out if paypal is now enabled yes i can see paypal here so it has been enabled so let's select we want to pay with paypal so um on our site somebody can pay with the paypal account or a debit or credit card let me just click on debit or credit card here and if you don't have a paypal account you can easily enter your card details here and make your payment and if you have a paypal account just click on this and make the order with your paypal account guys this is how you enable a shop on your wordpress blog i'll be coming your way with a full tutorial on how to build a complete e-commerce site not a blog that has a shop embedded but rather a full e-commerce site like aliexpress.com that you can use and sell different items on it until i come your way with another video I will ask you to subscribe to this channel if you've already not done so. Give me the thumbs up, smash the like button. It means a whole lot to me. Enter all your questions and feedback in the comment box below. I have also created some resources for WordPress beginners. So if you are new to WordPress, if you are new to blogging, check out the resources in the description box below go through it and become a better wordpress blogger for now it's bye bye from wp blogger